Luna. Ajá. Ajá. Luna. Sleepy Luna. Morning everyone. Um, today I'll be meeting so in front of the Wismore Hospital. So I'm going to do um, bronchoscopy today and core biopsy. Yeah, so I didn't eat since last night, midnight actually. So I said I need to be fasting before the small operation. You can say that. Uh, Another operation. to give blood or plasma during the next two weeks at the Lismore Donor Centre. Uh, the uh, blood and plasma types needed particularly uh, O plus and A plus blood uh, have now dropped to two day supply. That just means that the two most common blood types are under real pressure. So if you are able to donate blood and you're in the Lismore area, uh, please get in touch with the uh, Australian Red Cross Lifeblood Donor Centre in Lismore. Uh, I'm sure if there's other donor centres around, they'd be more than happy to have you as well. Uh, but please, please make sure. Hmm. Ready to go home. Okay, so I already done the biopsy and bronchoscopy Sue so was with me the entire operation and then when I woke up she was there beside me which is good and then she called Matt and then not long after that Matt come <laughs> to pick me up and he was with Monica so now I'm outside the hospital waiting for Matt. <coughs> he said he parked somewhere. So he will just pick me up in front of the hospital with the car. So I don't have to walk far. <coughs> Okay, so the surgery were like, um, I had to arrive at the hospital at 7.30 in the morning. I met Sue, and then she keeps on accompanying me. She was staying with me all the time. And then, well, before, Sue said, I supposed to get my biopsy and bronchoscopy at the same time but then the doctor changed their mind because they said they have never done uh, two kind of like small surgery like that at the same time and then so we're like pushing them because she said, well, I already thought that I will do the biopsy and bronchoscopy today, not only bronchoscopy. And then after a while, the doctor um, came to me, check on my lump. So there is still a, like a lump here, but it's getting smaller. The doctor checked on my lung and then he said, okay, I will do the biopsy today. 
Natalia. Uh, not long after that, they asked me to sign like um, a form. <clears throat> and then the nurse called me inside. She checked on my weight, um, asking my data, and then she asked me to change my clothes into, you know, that wardrobe, that white wardrobe. And then she put me in bed. And then it was like nearly 11 o'clock when the when the other nurse nurse came to me and then he's injected he put like um, a small pipe inside my hand he said that's for the anesthetic yeah so it happened so quickly not long after that he dragged me not dragged me <laughs> he pushed my bed into the inside like a medium room Dr. Mapanga was there Sue also there and then the anesthetic doctor asked me to breathe into the respiratory, respiratory thing and then the nurse said okay um, I will, I'm going to inject the anesthetic through your vein now through here he said just hold it, it's going to be pain. And then, not long after that, I... Um, I felt like there is something painful coming through here. It's like burning sensation. And then, well, I was still using my respiratory thing and then I kind of scream. I said, ouch, that's hurt. And then the nurse said, okay, keep bear with that. I was like, okay. And then not long after that, I passed out. Couldn't feel anything <clears throat> until, and then, until Sue called my name. I was awake then. I saw the clock, it's uh, nearly 12 o'clock. And then Sue asked me, are you okay? I said, yeah, I'm a bit hungry actually. <laughs> so yeah. Uh, and then Sue said, uh, I called Matt, but I couldn't reach him. I'm going to call him again. She said, and yeah, she called him again. And then she told me that uh, he's going to pick me up. Yeah. Oh, what a rough day. <laughs> no, I keep on coughing. I always coughing every time I had the biopsy. Uh, the nurse also gave me juice. Well, they asked me, do I want sandwich? I said, no. Do you have burger? I said. <laughs> This I don't have. And uh, I said, no, I don't want to eat anything. I don't feel like eating. And then she said, uh, you have to eat something, at least uh, custard, she said. Something gentle. I said, okay, I'll eat custard. Then she gave me juice and custard. <sighs> They, will, they said that I'm going to have sore from the biopsy and my throat, throat, yeah, it's a bit hurt. <laughs> so, yeah, we stop at the um, supermarket for shopping grocery after back from the hospital. Matt is at the supermarket now. Uh, I need to have a rest later. Okay. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.
Don't forget to subscribe, like, share at my Instagram. Bye bye. I'm sorry, I'm not feeling well right now. Keep on hiccuping. Okay. Bye bye. Stay healthy.